Hi guys, I'm Ken, the Boring Fisherman. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something today that's a little bit different, but uh, it's fishing related. I picked up this rod and reel combo from Dick's Sporting Goods in the beginning of the summer when I uh, first got down here to North Carolina. I didn't bring any fishing rods with me on the Harley. I, it, it, it would be difficult to bring fishing rods on the Harley with everything else that I had loaded on it. But uh, it's a two-piece rod, here's the top half, here's the bottom half. I don't really have a, enough room to put it together and show you the whole thing. And there went my light. Battery pack doesn't like me today. Anyway, we're going to do this without the extra light. So, this is a Daiwa, and it's the Samurai X. Uh, let's see, where is it? There. The Samurai X. And when I bought these, Dick's, Dick's Sporting Good was, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods had a, a deal going on, a, a special, I, I want to say it was a Memorial Day special, where it was two of these combos for $30 with no line. So that's been a few months ago now. Uh, the rods that I got, the model number is SXSG F702MH. Uh, it's a seven foot medium heavy. Uh, it's rated for a quarter to one ounce lure weight, eight to 17 pound line. And that's, that's great. You know, it's a great, uh, it's a great length. It's a great line rating. It's a medium heavy, so it is a little bit stiff. You lose a little bit of feel in this top, top half. You know, it's, it's a little stiffer. You don't get the greatest feel through it. Uh, so far as for the function of the rod, it did its job. It did everything that I expected it to do. Uh, I went ahead and put some 30 pound Yozuri braid on it. That's Yozuri uh, blue braid that I bought at the Walmart. Uh, it's 30 pound and it, 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 the braid is fine. That's not what I'm here for. But the reel, this is the Samurai reel. It's a 4000 series and it does have it does have the instant reverse in it, the instant anti-reverse. And there, there is a lever for it so that you can backpedal or reel forward or you can turn the instant anti-reverse on and it stops. I definitely like the feel of the instant anti-reverse versus the clunkier, older style, uh, budget-friendly setups that you will find everywhere. Uh, The things that I like about this rod, uh, the length is pretty handy. Um, when, when you're fishing off of a pier, it's not so long that it's it's cumbersome. It's not so short that you still have enough rod that you can cast pretty good with it when you're fishing off of the bank or off of the boat. Now, this one rod in particular, uh, I had with me in another video. <clears throat> I don't know if that other video has been uploaded yet or not. But uh, th this rod was with me when I went out and had the, the Bluefish Blitz with John. I didn't fish with this rod that trip, but he did. Uh, he ended up snagging up and, and uh, breaking his lure off on a fish, and he fished with this rod. And, uh, and, it, and it was great. Now, <clears throat> so far as for the reel, I like the reel. I like the feel. The, uh, it's got a pretty good size, size handle on it here. And that's that's easy to get a hold of. It's not it's not so fine that it's hard to deal with, but it's not so big and clunky that it's cumbersome. So they did a good job putting this thing together at a great price point. Uh, I think right now you can go to Dick's Sporting Goods and get these for I don't know twenty twenty five dollars as a combo. Uh, and it is a Daiwa. So being as I'm not a Daiwa guy, and I got these these thing these, these rod and reels on on a as a sale item, uh, I'm fairly impressed with Daiwa so far as for their quality. If this if this is the quality that they put out for their budget stuff as a combo, that's that's uh, you know a twenty dollar combo, then I, I can only imagine that the the, the higher price points Daiwa equipment is going to be fine as well. Uh, one of the things that I also liked about this was they put a hook keeper 
on the rod on the side so it's not straight in line with your reel. Uh, I like it when they're offset like that. It makes it easier when you're folding these things up. You can just hook your put your hook on there, tighten the line up, and you're fine. As to where when they're straight in line with the, the reel, sometimes the lure will get caught when you're spinning the slack out of the reel. So I, I like this. Um, one thing that I noticed with these that I wasn't a fan of is the size of the guides here aren't very well matched for the size of the reel. And uh, the thing that I don't like about that is when you're casting, uh, say I've got a, a half ounce lure on here and, and I'm casting it, it seems like the line's trying to bunch up. Coming off of the reel, it seems like it's trying to bunch up going into this first guide. And I feel like I'm losing casting distance that way. Uh, now these are ceramic insert guides, which, which that's that's fine. You know, for the price point, that's, that's fine. Um, the thing that, that happened with this rod in particular, this is one of my two, is uh, I had it out with another friend of mine, and we, uh, this was just the backup rod in case we decided to do some bridge fishing or something. Uh, that trip we went out patrolling and I used, used a different rod for trolling. But when we stuck it in the rod holder, because he has a top, you can't have it together because of the height of his top where his rod holders are. And so I had the rod doubled over you know how you do when you have them doubled over like this and we stuck it down into that rod holder uh, we broke the ceramic insert out of this guide here and it's the the first one in past the tip and it's missing the ceramic insert now I did not pay for the warranty on these for six dollars I could have got a one-year warranty and had this replaced but I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a warranty on a twenty dollar spinning combo uh, so that being said, it, it's a guide. If if I care enough to have a new guide put on, it, it's it's price varies, but I'm not expecting more than ten or fifteen dollars to have a guide put on. And at that point in time, you've almost paid for another combo. So I'm not going to spend six dollars and buy a warranty on it. But what I am going to do, because I actually like the reel, is I have another rod that has the uh, the stainless. Uh, the stainless insert guides on it, and I really like that rod. I bought it like 15 years ago. I've been fishing with it forever, and the ceramic is actually loose on this guide. I can feel it. But what I, what I'm planning to do is to take this 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 reel off and and go ahead and put that on my other rod because it needs a reel. My other rod does because the reel that's on it's chewed up. So that's uh. That, that's my opinions on this. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Uh, if I were in the situation where I was on vacation somewhere and hey, you know, I decided to do some fishing, say I was going to go to Oklahoma to do some bass fishing, didn't have any rods with me, uh, and they had a Dick Sporting Goods where I could get this combo again for the same kind of price, you know, that, that $20, $25, $30 even price point, this combo is definitely worth that. Uh, so far as for using it as a boat rod, uh, it worked great for the kind of abuse that I'm gonna would put it through up until I broke this ceramic guide, the ceramic insert. Uh, so I'm not at all unhappy with it. There, there's a couple of things that that could have probably been improved from the factory, but for the price that I paid for this combo, totally happy with it. Would buy it again, and I would recommend it to anybody who's either looking for something cheap to get out fishing on a vacation, if they're just starting out and they're looking for something that's going to be dependable, or even just something that they can get out and fish with if they're just starting up or, or, a, or a kid. You know, if I had to buy fishing rods for my daughter that I haven't already bought her enough of, uh, and this is what was available at the price point, this would be what she'd get. Uh, it is a cork handle, and I always leave the cellophane on, so, so it still has the... Uh, it still has the barcode and the Daiwa sticker. It even says right on it, free sticker. So it comes with a Daiwa sticker that's still inside the cellophane. I leave the cellophane on on these cork handles because I don't like this cork when it gets all stained up and turns black and I'm, I'm not a fan of that. If I do take the cellophane off of a, a cork handle on a rod, generally I have more money in a rod than this 
and I, if I take the cellophane off, then I'm going to put the shrink wrap, that, that X grip, uh, shrink wrap, uh, rod handle covering on them. But, uh, you know, the cork feels good. It's, it's kind of thin down here. It, it fits decent in the hand, you know. I mean, it's just a really basic reel seat with a screw, and it still has the original zip tie from when it was put together at the store. Or when Daiwa put it together to ship to the store. However it was, it still has the original zip tie on it. Uh, I never intended to use this as a long-term solution to not having fishing rods here when I first came down here. I, I intended to use this as an interim. It did its job flawlessly. Uh, and it just happened to be one that I threw in to go uh, fishing the other week with Terry. And that's how this guide got broke. Otherwise, you know, it would it would stay as it is, and it would be one of the one of the ones that I just use as is. Um, but all in all, like I said, I'm not unhappy with it. There, there's a couple of improvements that they could have made, but at, at that point, they wouldn't be in this price range that they're in. You know, to put improved guides on a cheap blank like this, they did the right thing putting it together like this. So I can't argue with that at all. And uh, if I'm ever hurting hurting in the future again to have a rod, you know, I don't throw these things away. If I'm ever hurting in the future, I can put a new guide on it or use it like it is, because I was using it all day like that anyway. So, uh, at the end of the day, uh, once again, I am happy with this combo. Would buy it again. I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, and if you came to visit me and we were going to go fishing and you didn't have fishing rods, this would be the one that you get. Well, the other one, not this one in particular, but... You know, it's, it works. Uh, the reel, it, it doesn't put a ton of drag down. I, I think that I found online that they make, I don't know, like 8 or 12 pounds of drag. It's not a ton of drag, but it's it's a 4,000 size reel. It's got an aluminum spool, graphite body, you know, but it's 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 not clunky. You know, it doesn't it doesn't flex all around. It's, it's, it's not too bad to look at either, honestly. Uh, and it is smooth. I don't remember what the uh, retrieve ratio is, but the reel has, let's see, pounds to yards. We'll hold 300 pounds of, or 300 yards of 10 pound. Looks like 270 yards of 12 pound. Am I reading that right? 270 yards, 260. Well, anyway, it's 300 yard spool of 30 pound Yozuri. And the whole spool fit on there. There was none left, and there's a little bit more room. You could put more line on there. So, it's got plenty of line capacity. I know that this reel will never put down enough drag to warrant having the whole 30 pound test breaking strain of this braided line. Uh, but that was what was available. It was a ten dollar roller line, and it does the job. It flows. It's high vis. It does its job. So, anyway, that's enough of that. That's my opinion on the Daiwa Samurai X combo that I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. This is the seven foot medium heavy model with a four thousand reel. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so that you get notified when new uploads happen. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. I've got all kinds of gear that I can do similar reviews on. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff that I can do reviews like this on. Different lures, different rods, different reels, uh, different fishing lines. I can do an in-depth line review if you need it. Uh, just go ahead and let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.